This is the man accused of opening fire on a Denver cop. Tomorrow, Jason Wood will face a judge for the first time accused of attempted murder for shooting officer Tony Lopez Jr. On Tuesday, officer Lopez was performing a routine traffic stop when he was shot. So how do officers like Lopez train for the situations like this? Denver 7's Marshall Zellinger is live where the shooting happened. And Marshall, you got an inside look at the training these officers undergo. Eric, we wanted to know how quickly something as routine as a traffic stop could turn so dangerous. I'm standing where Officer Tony Lopez Jr. made that traffic stop on Tuesday when he got shot multiple times. Behind me here, you can see the scratch marks from where his vehicle was towed away as evidence. So tonight, we went to a simulator to see how officers are trained to expect just about anything. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! You have to train consistently. Um, in order to have your skill set at its highest level at all times. Steve Brennell is the lead firearms instructor at Centennial Gun Club. He also used to be a firearms instructor for the FBI. Tonight, he took us through simulated traffic stop scenarios to show all of us how officers are taught to be prepared for anything, like Tuesday, when Denver police officer Tony Lopez Jr. was shot after he pulled a vehicle over. You see the gun right about here, and then it's being fired. Exactly, and that happens in a matter of milliseconds. In this scenario, the driver gets out of the car, then hides behind the door. This is tricky. Steve does not shoot right away because he does not see a gun. That's why it's called a shoot don't shoot scenario. If I shoot too soon, he may be an innocent bystander and he's just afraid of the vehicle stop and he's hiding behind the door. If I wait too long until he's got the gun pointed at me, it might cost me my life. This scenario shows us how officers are also taught restraint. Drop the knife now! The driver gets out of the car and takes out a knife. The first action should be increasing the distance between myself and the threat. This third scenario shows the officer touch the trunk on the way to talk to the driver. Many times the officers will do that to check the trunk and leave fingerprint evidence. It's not just officers who get training like that. Steve actually trains many people who have concealed weapon permits now because nothing about getting that permit actually teaches those people how and when to shoot. Reporting live in Denver, Marshall Zellinger, Denver 7.